at that time jesus said to his disciples do not think that i have come to bring peace to the earth i have not come to bring peace but a sword for i have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against a mother-in-law and a person's enemies will be those of his own household whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me and whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me whoever finds his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it whoever receives you receives me and whoever re receives me receives him who sent me the one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward and the one who receives a righteous person because he is a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward and whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple truly i say to you he will be he will by no means lose his reward when jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities the gospel of the lord my sisters and brothers in christ jesus in the gospel passage today we are reminded that god comes first among our priorities and the rest of the things follow when jesus said whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me it goes on and on who can say such thing only god when he said that one who loves more than me they are not worthy of following only god can say he's saying that i am god but sometimes for us family and material things come first we must be prepared to face all kinds of persecution with calmness and peace jesus is our prince of peace and to give us his peace that he came into the world our faith should be rooted in jesus jesus also reminds us that he came into the world not to establish peace but the sword by this he means we have to to make hard choices choices that can cost us our job or family or freedom to do the will of god in our life we should be prepared for rejection and humiliation and perhaps even hatred so my dear sisters and brothers we have to surrender our life to god and be ready to face all the difficulties we may have to face to do the will of god in our lives this is the way to receive god's peace joy and perfect union with god during this mass let us ask god for the grace Lord give us the grace to follow you to put you first you should be our priorities in our life so that we may be your disciples amen